so updates on survey distributions. We ran into a, a snag, a snag after snag after snag on the community um, okay. survey. Okay, jeez. And, um, oh, hey. Oh, hi, Nancy. Hello. We're up to three. <laughs> um, it's Andrew on the phone. Uh -huh. So we ran into snag after snag, and thanks to Andrew's hustle today, I, you want to bring us up to date with today? This is a community uh, survey. Pick them up from um, the SU office in Spalding Press and drop them off the, at the post office. They are at the post office and hopefully go out and do um, mailboxes in the next couple of days. Okay, well, that's good so, news. I, yeah. Yes. Um, so we do need to figure out how, you know, I think we need to put them in a forum and, and Facebook and all that other stuff as well. Right, and Kate was going to do that, but I can talk to Mary. I think principals can do that. Andrew's out until Monday, Monday. Monday. I think. Um, and I get uh, mixed. I don't know. I don't want to get. Yeah, I will. Everybody's out right now. <laughs> Almost every I will, administrator um, in our district is out right now. <laughs> community survey out. To social media, so I will. Um, I'll figure out how to do that. Try to do it before Monday. But okay. um, but I don't know. I mean, I might be able to do it. We'll just see. Because <coughs> I might need um, Andrew back and Jamie back and a bunch of people. <laughs> so everybody's. Yeah, Ray. I don't know if we talked to Ray yet, but he should be able to post it wherever it needs to go. Yeah, I've had a he couple. He's not going to start on Facebook. Okay, well, let me ask, okay, because um, I've been waiting for some stuff there. Um, yeah, I'm still, still waiting. Um, so where I am, I did, I did some more writing. <laughs> um, finished, I think, the um, flexible pathways, and now it's like, did I put too much in? But I tried to, you know, in some, in some cases, um, I tried to sort of educate what these things were, figuring that people didn't know what they were. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I do need some eyes on that saying, okay, this is too much, you get rid of that, or whatever, or this makes no sense. Um, and I had started, I started using this... Uh, phrase credit the goal of this credit pathway in other words to get credit in the, in the context of gaining um, high school credit um, and then using pathway a little bit differently and I guess I'm saying does that help or you know should I try to weave that back in would that help sort of understand this pathway business um, but I think I finished that except that I'm still waiting on um, and these are all folks that I've been, I mean, they have their jobs and I totally get that, but I've been in, I've been in touch with them um, Monday this week and, um, and in some cases, some stuff has been out for a while and so I'm reminding, but I need a, um, some kind of description of the flexible pathways that are available at the middle school. So Pierre's working on that, I guess, and then... Um, Andra can give me what it looks like at the at the elementary school, um, which they're forming now. I mean, right? You know and what I, mean? and like, I have one of them. Yeah. Something like blended learning, or yeah. maybe one yeah. of those expanded learning. Yeah. I said it's in its developmental stages. That I, I can kind of speak like that was the one they were the the last to implement this. Right. I mean the the middle school kind of has but hasn't you know i mean they at least have had the maker space and they've had other things they've been more driven like it went to the high school and then it you know yeah. kind of it was the trickle down to the elementary last so they're just starting those conversations of the elementary and the middle school they either pierre needs to either find the documents that were there or create you know the documents too yeah i just and i just need a list you know but yeah. so i mean the law that made it it a law <laughs> for the high school was I don't know 2017 maybe 2013 X 77 
So what's happened in White, in White River Valley is that the flexible pathways that was originally um, outlined by the state and is in statute, um, I call it flexible pathways with the capital F and the capital P. Yeah. <laughs> and then what White River Valley has done has taken that flexible pathways um, approach with a small f and a small p for middle school and um, elementary school because the original law was about graduation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So I tried to, I haven't really gotten down to the big <clears throat> the capital letters and the small letters, but I will do that when I do the elementary and middle school. Right now I just put the history of back 77. That might be Mary calling, hang on, texting. One moment, okay. Hang on. So, um so anyway, I think I got a lot done on the, um, well, I know I did on the flexible pathways. The other place that I was able to fill in some things, I think, was in the curricular part. Uh, Emily had posed some questions about things that had been listed in the, I was using the, um, uh, whatever, of studies that the high schools use to send to colleges in the spring when the kids, you know, to explain, explain their grading <coughs> systems and, and what their graduation requirements are. So I was using that as the guide for classes, and she had a question specifically about Spanish, and I raised it with um, Jeff, and, uh, and he, you know, he said what I had written was accurate, so I'm going to leave that that way. Um, and I can talk to Emily about that. Um, I'm waiting. I'm just waiting on a whole bunch of stuff that I'm a little frustrated, but, you know, it's not. <laughs> it's not like anybody else has jobs. I mean, I'm retired, yeah. so I'm sitting around like, where's this going? Come on. Because I am getting into my email and, yeah. and saying, you know, where, and I actually now have a list, you know, what are the emails well, what, that I have yeah. out? Because I was I had so many feelers out for information. I was yeah. starting to so then I was having to to search to make sure you know is this my second call or is this my first call? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like but, the line of students down the hall when the first one you know looks back and stops and the rest all just yeah. kind of you know it all yeah. they keep getting backed up and you're just spinning your wheels. You want to make progress, but oh, know. the other one that I had spent a lot of time on was the outdoor. Okay. Outdoor experiential learning program. That's what I was reading that right now. It, yeah, yeah, so I have a paragraph that I think that was in there before maybe about what the confusion, there might be some confusion about what that is. Yeah, right. that and, was good to include that. Oh, thank you. And then, and then the, the next paragraph is where I started today. Our research revealed strong support for outdoor programming for students of all ages. And actually, I'm going to have to go back and look at the data, but... But there may have been, and I think there, I may even have said it at the high school. Um, no. I have to go back and look and see whether or not folks were, I don't remember how we actually um, worded it on the, excuse me, on the um, surveys, if we said, um, you know, experiential. Yeah. program or whether I don't know I just have to go back and look we might have done in some cases we would do it differently from survey to survey so trying to figure out what we what we asked and therefore how how to interpret mm. the response I mean, the family one is I would like the high school to pursue the development of an outdoor experiential <coughs> learning program yeah outdoor experiential that would provide learning students program with outdoor experiential learning program yeah that would provide students with rigorous place-based learning got it there's so much of that in the comments too. Like well, that's when we it. ask so, like these open questions, like what classes do you want to see? There's so right. much of the outdoor stuff in there, and the like sports activities one kind of right, too. Right, right. I mean and that's I, harder to 
quantify, right? Exactly. Yeah. And so I'm using, I'm not using those in the report. Right. But they as will a be way used to... in the suggestions. Right. But I may use that because I think in, just because of the way we worded the, pro, the question, it, I think it might be fair to say that there was, you know, I have to look at the percentages, but, um, you know, strong interest or interest on the part of the high school families um, mm -hmm. or, um, for a <clears throat> experiential learning program. So when you say not using it in the report, but using it in the suggestions, what's the, what do you mean that you're sort of writing a report and then afterwards? Well, that's what we were talking about this group, because in the very beginning when we first met, folks were going immediately to the solutions and the things we ought to yeah. expand on. And I said, later. <laughs> yeah. So now is the later. It's not that I don't use them. I use them to kind of confirm what my head is doing. But if I try to... It's too much. It's just too, too right. much data. I can't. Head slash data. Yeah, yeah. It's just crazy. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean the 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 school board. I mean, it's, is a it school board. I'm sorry. Is that the yeah. right? They'll have access to the comments, so they can delve yes. into them and for yes. themselves and see if we have to kind of figure out somewhere for them how to do not. that. And um, I mean, the other thing that's I was working. I started to work on the. Um, I do have all the information now to do the achievement data. But, you know, in some cases, the achievement data, because it's very consistent in one direction, except like two grade levels. Mm -hmm. And I want to talk to <coughs> Andrew, I want to talk to you about it, and I want to talk to Jamie about it, because I just feel like if I identify grade levels, then I'm coming really close to so personally identifiable not, information. Not, and yeah, we can sort of figure out who yeah. teachers are, you know, who's teaching that grade. And I don't want, you know, mm. that's not the purpose of the report. The report is just about the district and how the district is doing. Um, how the merger is doing. Yeah, yeah. and how that. So, um, you know, if, if somebody else wants to dig deeper on that, that's not my purview. Um, but anyway, so I think that the outdoor, the outdoor education one reads a little funky. I mean, if it reads funky, it's because... I had asked for input from all of the outdoor educators. And in the end, after I wrote these, which were kind of the same, but I wrote myself a note that said, as part of a single school district, and maybe this ends up in the suggestions, should common goals for all the, pro all the outdoor programs be created with flexibility on the context through which they are taught based on local resources? Mm. You know, like if it's going to be based on... Um, and this is a possibility for a, a suggestion. Do they want to look at that? Do they want it all to be about um, transferable skills, or do they want it to be about um, good stewards of the earth? You know, what is it? And then based on what folks have for outdoor um, resources and things like that, people can do that differently as long as the goals are met in the end. Or I'm a big one in this part of the country to do... Um, you know, outdoor survival and safety because yeah. we have hunters and we, you know, mm -hmm. we got kids in the woods all the time that can. Yeah, well, that's why we're 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 so lucky with the a location we have and who we have teaching. You know, right. the eco Melissa and Bana. You know, like they're. All where in. is it written that that's that's a must? Oh, it's is it it's not for I mean, all I, of the schools. Yeah. So, oh, I don't you know, think it is. Yeah, it's just. Um, about who who you have as an educator and what's in their wheelhouse. Right. Yeah. And that's um, yeah. That's fun if you're in the right class. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but there are some things that just really have to be, you know, should be at least at the very least be considered to be universal. So. Hmm. Um, but anyway, to get back to your, I'm not sure I answered your question, Aaron, about the suggestions. So using that that um, anecdotal stuff um, to sort of confirm what I'm saying, but I'm, and I may get to a place where, for example, I would put in the report about extracurriculars that, that there was interest in what I would call lifelong sports, mm -hmm. you know, the ones that don't take another person to do, yeah. you know, there was some interest, I don't remember what, but there were a couple, a couple of things that were not team sports, I can't even see, I can't remember off the top mm -hmm. of my head. Um, or whether or not that ends up in a suggestion, you know, that these were the, to save them having to go through that, to say that, you know, in general folks, and I think this is fair, were satisfied with the, the number of extracurricular and extracurricular opportunities for kids. However, 
you know, they mentioned blah, blah, and blah, blah. Oh, so like, I sort of almost feel like, like drama, drama or cross country, you know, like those are, yeah. they're sort of individual niches that, you know, right. people. So, I mean, part of me, and, and Andrew, maybe you can help here too, is that, you know, if I include all the suggestions as I go, then this becomes even a more massive document oh, <laughs> than it feels yeah. like it's going to be. I and I think it'll be harder for folks to find those tidbits. Yeah. I think if we had some kind of a, an appendix that was, mm -hmm. um, you know, organized, maybe organized, or maybe just with the same heading so they could find the headings to see, you know, what was in the report versus what the suggestions were, then folks could, could take that, we could take that information and create... Mary was going to, Mary and Emily were kind of taking the lead and neither one of them are here tonight. So, um, yeah. but that's, but that's the idea of the suggestions is what, what did we get? And then we've had a little bit of talk about, I think I said this, because this is my, uh, one of my passions, but you're the percentage of students and families who said that their students had um, strong relationships with at least one adult in their school was very high, and that's to be lauded. I mean, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. But I look at that and say, you know, as an educator, I would be saying, why? What, it, what are the systems that we have in place? Well, there's a really strong, I'm learning, a really strong advisory program at the high school. And, um, and it looks like, the, I think the kids stay Oh, don't quote me on this one. They might stay with the same person for four um, years. But anyway, there's a strong advisory program. I mean, and one of the goals of the advisory program is to establish these long, these strong and long-term relationships. Well, okay, that's terrific. So how do we make certain that we protect that? Mm -hmm. The classic, and this just this happened in mm -hmm. my district after mm -hmm. I left. We had put a, um, yeah. you know, a student support system in place at one of the high schools, and it was staffed. It had one full-time um, professional and one full-time para, and the um, the data was looking really, really good. And um, they said, "Oh, well, this is looking really good. We don't need it anymore." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so now, guess what happened? But you know, I, so I'm learning from that. That's even after I left. But. Um, you know, really identifying what are the things that we are doing that are successful that we should not be looking at in terms of when, you know, because when that was an easy place to grab a a, um, a full-time staff member, and that's, you know, in a budget, um, we we budgeted eighty to $100,000 a pop. So that's a chunk of change. But, you know, where, where do you want, do you want to suggest the board not look? <laughs> I guess, Andrew, that is, you can't look, but, you know, those kinds of things. So not just what do we need to add, mm -hmm. but what do we have, you know, the outdoor programs, people are like wackadoodle in favor of it. So yeah. what are you going to do? Right, but how do is we keep it and keep doing, how, keep doing it well and funding those yeah. positions or, you know. You know, is I it mean, better to continue to do what we're doing, exactly, doing what we're doing well and uh, not add at this yeah. point? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that, that's, that's the other piece of this group that I think would be really valuable to the board and valuable as a, an appendix to the actual report, which is just, this is what it, you know, this is where you are. That's what I'm finding in my new role is we, we do stuff and a lot of people want to do stuff, but that was last year's widget, that was the year before's widget, but then summer comes or you know you get the yeah. crabgrass orchard or something you know like there's things but if if we want these things to be showpieces for us we should do it well or continue to do it not oh well that's done and you know then nobody does anything with it and okay. as, as the building person you know guy you know like and some of it drives me crazy and you know I, I want movement and I understand like classes only happen for half an hour you know 40 minutes a day and you know like every other day or whatever so it doesn't always but it's just ah, just yeah. get it done <laughs> yeah. but Anyway, so, you know, I'm pre I just need, you know, another set of eyes. Nancy, I appreciated your couple of comments. Um, but I, I, all that, the different colored fonts, 
and highlighting are basically notes to myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And some of the, you'll, it, you might notice that some of the, from the last time, that some of the different colored font or inks are different, that I just mm -hmm. pulled that out because it meant that I used all, all of the information <laughs> that was in there, yeah. Yeah. I used in the um, prose. And so I want it out of there. And then the highlights for me are, do you have, you know, do you have all this? <laughs> Do you mm -hmm. have all this information mm -hmm. or something missing here? Okay. To send so, me back. So what would you prefer if I'm, if I'm going through and, and reading instead of um, highlighting? Then First of all, I couldn't even highlight on this stupid iPad. It wouldn't oh. let me highlight. It only let me I know. I was looking text. at, well, what's she, what, what she talking about? <laughs> yeah. I, I, it just it was pain in the butt. There's too many things that you can't do on an iPad yeah. mm. that are so easy to do on I know. On a Chromebook or well, a yeah, that's the whole thing. Is I, I'm, I, everything I would like in our perfect world, but um, we that now, but now that I, my capacity, I, I got a Chrome widget that now everything comes up. As before, I had to kind of find it on my yeah. on my MacBook. I had yeah. to kind of do it differently, but now it's this is just, just programmed easier. to yeah. go with yeah. what we do here or whatever. Yeah. Do you have another access? Because I, I can certainly. I do have. I've, ask I've got Ray an old to, laptop yeah. I can use. Because I can ask him. We had at the offices. We he had set up three. Uh -huh. um, now I, I I can. I've got a, an HP, an old HP like that one that somebody gave me, and and it actually it seems to be good. I don't even know how old it is, but. <laughs> Just take your daughters or your grandkids. They don't need it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. But anyway, yeah, so you were saying, you started to ask me about what I wanted, I think, what I wanted comments on. Yeah. That, well, I just, understandability, is it too dry? Is it too much information? Okay. Does it raise a question for you that I need to answer? Uh -huh. You know, those And so you would prefer things. to get those as comments? I do, because if people yeah. go, if you go in, yeah. That's. I think I only gave you commenter access I meant to I don't know what I gave everybody but okay. it's like yeah because there's Correct. no way for me to tell what's been shifted yeah mm -hmm. and and for example um, I don't think you were here yet um, Emily had made a comment questioned um, about a course at the high school which I used I checked right. as resolved because I called Jeff and I or emailed him and said there's this question yeah. so he set me straight and and it is what it is. So it's those kinds. I mean, okay. I'll, I'll get different kinds of questions or comments yeah. from different people. But okay. And yeah, spelling yes. error. How do you spell credit bearing? How do you spell bearing? That's a good question. Yeah, B E A R. Is it B E A R? Like, like yeah. Bearing? Okay, not B A R. No. Okay, good. Because yeah. that's how I spelled it. Yeah. But <laughs> suddenly going up. What? I know some of those. Why is that? That, that one really. Usually I can figure it out, but that one was hard. Yeah, I, there was one that so we, I don't know how much of my lifetime I've thought this, but when I saw that you had typed out twelfth, I mean, whoever says twelfth, <laughs> it's hard. And to I'm say. looking I at that and I'm like, what's that, what's with this F here? Twelfth. <laughs> well, I just had this conversation with a staff member today, really? and this person asked me how to spell. Fourth, and it just doesn't look right to our brains. We say it, but it just doesn't yeah. look right. But no, that twelfth really got me. I'm just like, <laughs> have I never seen it written out? Well, of course Not I have. Funny. Twelfth <laughs> night. That's why I, I pick one of the top people in my phone and my text, and I'll like start typing so the iPhone autocorrects it or yeah. Yeah. tells me how to spell it. Then I delete it, or hopefully once in a while I'll hit send, and I'm like, oh, never mind. That wasn't for you. So I see the comments on the side here. Yes. So we can comment on the side on this and yeah. see it. Yeah. You know how to do that? No. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm probably my wife can teach me. But if you're, <laughs> yeah, no, no, if you can help. Oh, sorry. Oh, well, that one should be. Let's um, refresh that because I took that out. I resolved it. Oh, there we go. All right. So say you wanted to. Oh, right here. I could like. And space. So where'd you say it? I didn't see that. I don't know why that's there. Okay. Well, it's just a place that I can add something, I guess. I don't know. No. So we just need to, um, you just, let's just highlight this. I highlight, okay. I highlight just for fun. Something. 
like that. Uh -huh. And then you go over here and you've got two, this is add comment or this is add an emoji. No, thank you. And so, <laughs> yeah, add your comment. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah, once you select something, it'll let you do. Okay. So All right, and then you write right that. And then okay. you did let, so, I don't know, just write. Oh, a box Let's pops see. up, right? That. Yeah. It doesn't matter. And then you hit comment and it'll come out. There. Okay. And then I will go through and say, if I fixed it, mark is resolved and hide. Okay. And then, go away. And then that won't stay that, that highlight there. Okay. That's highlight. Oh, this will stay highlighted? Oh, no, it's no, not. No, you highlighted. click it, it'll go away. Okay, great. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. It's, the highlighting is nice because sometimes it's comments and it's like, I have no idea. What, what is this in What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, oh, and just for your information, the things that are in the um, outdoor education parts, there's a bunch of things in each section, each school section in a different colored ink. And that's cut and pasted from um, the uh, emails that I got from the people who are in charge of the programs. Mm, okay. That, it looked and, like it was kind of first Yeah. Course. And that's why I said it may feel really clunky, Thanks. and I need to know that, because if it feels really clunky, I don't. I'll fix it somehow. <clears throat> just but, put it in quotes or? Well, again, we'll just, say. or you could, you know, just highlight one of them and just put out this, the three, okay. the descriptions of the school outdoor programs don't um, yeah. sound good. I'll have to, I'll <laughs> have to read it. Sound clunky, I don't know. <laughs> but it's just, I don't know, I was tired. Work in progress. Yeah, we we always. Yeah. So, oh, and then I ask a question. So, so Andrew, we had talked about maybe putting, um, is it, do you envision this as being, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Um, do you envision this as being um, an electronic document, or are you thinking it's a hard copy? I mean, I imagine it's an electronic document that we can print out as a hard copy. <laughs> you know, like, I think we would primarily have it as electronic, but if somebody requests it as okay. um, not, then we can print it. Okay, because I'm, you know. Uh, my guess is people won't. Yeah. You know, there won't be many of that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Save trees, don't print. Yeah, we'll just keep <laughs> okay, it well then, in the magic box and that'll be that. Yeah. Then I had, had re referenced um, the transferable skills, and those are a uh, school district or probably SU wide document and then ask myself the question, should we add a link? And the answer is yes. Yes. yes for sure. <laughs> and then I think ultimately we could get link happy, but I really don't want to be link happy. Yeah. With the data. I'd rather just hmm. decide what we're gonna share. Just put it in the document and then the we'll we'll share the we'll data dump the whole thing to them and then they whoever can go through it, but it won't be linked forever plus a day in the document. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or in that specific instance, you know what right. I mean? Or instances. Well, and again, you know, in some cases, the comments, um, I mean, Andrew, for example, there was a, a series of, um, negative comments that seemed to have a mm -hmm. theme to them and mm -hmm. she was able to immediately identify the family not mm -hmm. in a negative way but she doesn't yeah. know what that is yeah. and i'm thinking well if she can then who else can and yeah. that's a problem <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so i really do want to have a long conversation andrew with you and jamie to make you know just some properly responsible decisions about where that data goes and where where it it lives and where it doesn't live Mm. Right. Yeah. Because, um, like I say, I think there's very unique things in there, and then you've always got the the outliers, and we're all human, and we go after the two outliers, and when we yeah. live in small towns, we try to figure yeah. out who it is. Yeah. yeah. And that should not yeah. be um, Friday night entertainment. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I appreciate ta us taking that seriously, obviously. Like, we put this yeah. out as, like, well, something we put it that out, was it's said be was anonymous. anonymous, so it's a lot of responsibility. Well, it's kind of like my, after the meeting got over last week, it's like my comment to you on the staff survey and who filled yeah. out what. Well, well, in some instances, there was only one person from certain groups that, oh, that yeah. filled it out or whatever, you know, because we identify, you know, like, support staff, kitchen, maintenance, you know, right. like whatever. So there's, you know, in, in a couple instances, nurse, I think there's one, one, one in, in a couple areas or something. So, yeah, no, you know, I noticed that myself. Yeah, so so that's, yeah. I was hoping it might be a little bit better since we put it out a second time. I haven't, yeah. I haven't looked at those numbers. but So my, um, my plan is to just keep typing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And I will be, I won't, like I say, I just, the entire, well, it's not like it's a huge family, but everybody was home for the holiday weekend, and um, and then they started coming early, and, you know, it's just two-thirds of them yeah, live out of state, and there's grandbabies no, no, I haven't no, seen good. since the beginning of July, so, right. hey, <laughs> I did that. Nice. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> You've got your priorities straight. So, anyway, Andrew? Oh, nothing I was saying. That's perfectly fine. Oh. Particularly since we haven't even gotten, you know, the green survey just went out now. So, yeah. You know. Yeah. I was hoping to have this. Well, I still might. I was hoping to have the, the uh, really broken the back on this before we had to deal with the, the community survey. Because that one, a lot of those questions are really unique and there's right. not a lot of yeah. connection to the other one. So to deal with that a little bit differently. But I was excited about being able to name some um, uh, businesses yeah, I that saw have that. had community-based folks. Yeah, that's it's a short, you know, list, but it's not, it's not, I'm not, I'm hoping, I'm not suggesting that that's all there is. Well, but, um, I mean, for me, it was educational to see that because we've yeah. talked about the, yeah. the in conceptually here right. and I never really, like, you know, these sort of like community student you know, connections, and it's neat to see, like, the concrete, what's happened. Cool. Well, yeah. I mean, I was also looking at the, the college opportunities, the dual enrollment in early college, and um, what, and what I was, okay, you do have to <coughs> tell me whether or not you understand this. What page am I on? Who knows? I am on, where are the page numbers? Oh, seven. All right. Page numbers are way over to the right if you okay. get over the scroll bar. And what are we looking at? You're looking at the first whole paragraph. Starts with all of these opportunities. Which be read that paragraph oh. and tell me whether it makes sense to you, or what it says. <laughs> mm. Okay, I don't have that as being at the oh, first paragraph on my page seven. Four, five, six. Oh, I see, the Chris. Vermont State Chris College. Is, that one. That's the one. Although uh, yeah, these opportunities the would be available. <clears throat> Yeah, the next, the next one. The next paragraph. It starts with all those these op opportunities. Oh, yeah. It's right above the green um, yeah, yeah. highlight stuff. Okay. The document's 10 pages, so it's toward the end. Um, comma after merger. And it starts with although. Yeah, although these opportunities... Okay, now I'm in the right you place. I, you see what I mean? You need a comma after merger. A direct result of the merger comma allows for more upper-level classes. To oh. oh, yes. Am I right? Yep. Okay. Yes, you are. That, <laughs> it's a long That's sentence. That's what I want. No, but no. I, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like long sentences. Sometimes when I go back and read them the next day, it's like... Oh my God! Exactly. <laughs> and it's hard once when you've proofread something so many times, you're just well, like, well, you keep, know what it's supposed to say, so it. therefore it says that. So, okay, yeah. I'm serious about this this uh, paragraph though, because this is important. Okay. Um, I think it should be just allow instead of allows. The larger class sizes. Allow for more. That's your subject, isn't yep. it? Yep. I hate those typos. Like, I know. Was it was Good it thing. on the family one that somebody was commenting that 
we had. Oh, it was yeah. a typo. There was a comment that yeah, they yeah. Spelled, like, spelled school wrong or something. Yeah. Is that what? No. Oh, it just made me furious because I had read these things so many times, and that's my thing is yeah. to look oh. for those kinds of things, and. Because I know that there are those people out there that are going to say, and these people are educators oh, and they can't no, no, no. even yeah. spell. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> so what, what about this paragraph? Or maybe I should tell you what is, I want it to. to do, you, does one under, do you guys understand that the larger class size allow for more upper level classes to be offered on the high school campus at the same time more students take advantage of early college. Do you understand why that is? Mm. I got lost when it got to I at think, the same I think time. It's, it's the sentence needs to get broken up a it's little bit. It's a little chop, a yeah. little bit. Okay, I, although not, these it's not a criticism. It's right, just, do you know why, why that is? I mean, do you know why, how, how that makes sense? Yeah, yeah, it definitely makes sense. Um, what, do you, what do you mean? Why? We understand because we're part of the system, you. but we're trying to get people that aren't in the system to... Right. Well, the, 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 it's not just the larger classes. So what happens in a smaller school is that kids go off to early college, and those are your high, some of your high flyers that yeah. would be taking those upper-level courses that you need five kids in it to run. And you had... <clears throat> oh, right, but you and just jettisoned a, you just a bunch exactly to... exactly yes, yes. off yes. to college, yes. and now you have a smaller group yeah. of upper-level kids that need that additional challenge, and you don't you have don't have enough to make to your quorum class. for right. the class. Yeah. So if you have a larger class, I mean, this is crazy. This year's junior class is 71 kids. I think the average is around 50, but this one's wow. really big. Yeah, really big for some reason, so we'll find out. But... Um, but anyway, but that we I was talking to um, Alex, I think that's who I was talking to, <laughs> somebody, um, about that, that, you know, if there's more, then you can encourage more kids to take that early college. I mean, you want it, it's, they're entitled to it, and you want those that, that are, can be successful there to do it. But, um, but it's, a, you know, it can, be, with larger class sizes, it's easier to do that and, and still, um, you know, properly service the kids that are back at the school and wanting to uh, to do it in a more, in a more traditional way. Mm. Is early college like an early college like going to college early? Yes. Okay. Yep. It's um, while you're in I, high school, while you're still enrolled in high school, you can no. You, not if you go full time. I'm oh, sorry. not if you. Oh, right. If you oh, go yes. Early, yeah. Early, do, there's dual right. enrollment. Right. Enrolling. Right. I tried yes. to explain it here. Okay. Yeah. Um, right dual above that. Yeah. Okay. So, so you should read that. And I need to read that first. Understand that, <laughs> then you tell me. I don't okay. get it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's in the above one. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that does make sense the way it's written. Okay. I had to... I mean, just the larger classes just might be enough to... Folks need, don't need to know the nitty-gritty. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't... Confusing, I guess. We'll see what the educator... The, not, you're an educator, but... <laughs> what, like Emily was says. I mean, do we have numbers saying whether there are more students taking advantage of these programs than I, there were before, or? Um, we don't, because we don't have the before numbers. Hmm. Okay. But, um, you know, you don't have a lot. I thought I put how many? Where is that? Uh. 
Um, yeah, it was like 10 yeah, or something like that. Yeah, there's four students taking classes as part of dual enrollment. It looks like it, you know, what it looks like is it looks like it wasn't being, again, you know, lots of it has to, lots of things have to do with um, who's at the helm. And um, um, it doesn't look like this was really pushed. Or maybe it's, um, it takes a cheerleader to convince kids sometimes that they can do this. Yeah. And the, the nice part about the dual enrollment piece is that they end early college is that there is a class that CCV puts out that is basically a, um, a class on how to take a college class. <laughs> so, and those are required. So, um, but the dual enroll, I mean, go ahead. I was going to say, it might actually, I wouldn't be surprised if we actually have fewer kids. Like if you have more opportunity to take AP classes and things that will get you college credit, then going to it, you know, like the stuff of VTC, you have to go to VTC and kind of, you know, it's not really right with peers and stuff like that. So it might make it less attractive. That's true. More, That's true. Um, High school. Well, the, and yep. it is nice to be able to, you know, um, to be able off to be able to offer more so kids stay put. And the nice thing about the virtual learning, um, virtual study, I guess is what they call it, is is that if if it is a class that is offered in person at the high school, even if it's not that year, if it's one of, if it's a class that's offered every other year. year you're not allowed to take it on online. You need sort of special permission. They're really pushing <clears throat> for kids to do it in person. Um, VTBLC is you know available for the stuff that they don't offer, or if there's a you know sometimes in a small school there's a serious well even a large school serious scheduling problem that you can't get a core course in mm. that you need, um, and they will do it that way. So, but the the commitment is to get kids to. Um, to, have, to do it in person on campus. So. Um. But yeah, I mean, I'll keep going. Um. And then what I'd really like to do is to send parts of this, um, like I was gonna put the, anyway, parts of this to different you know, principals or different people who could look at it and say, yes, this is accurate, or no, this isn't. Mm. Yeah. Um. yeah I'll try and, I haven't had much chance to really look into much of this stuff. You know, I've been focused kind of on getting stuff ready for the bond mode. But I'll have some time to spend <laughs> on this in the near future. Anyway. Good. Has your vote happened? No, it's no. happening November fifth. No. Oh, it happens on the fifth. Okay, big day. All right. Oh, hey, Andrew. This is Nancy. Yeah. Um, while I'm thinking of it, did you get a chance to look at my little write-up for the newsletter? Yes, and I added a little bit, and um, there's one other thing I wanted to add, but it's yeah, good. Okay, good. <laughs> Well, that's kind of what I have. That's great. Yeah, I'd like to look forward to For the day. And I think, you know, we have one more meeting date in three weeks. We didn't do it in two because two weeks is Halloween. Right. Everybody looks at each other cross-eyed. Don't know now what's happening in November. I mean, I'm still operating on that date. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Before we... Yeah, so... One thing that might be worthwhile talking about is, is like if the community survey is hitting mailboxes, you know, say on Monday, like people should have them. Yeah. How long do we let people give people to respond to it? Right. Like, and I think we should probably do like one push out on social media, emails, and all that stuff. Um, and then do another in like a week just to try and, you know, give people a second push. Yeah. But I don't know when the cutoff could be for that. Um, well, Monday is the 20th, so if we count it from Monday, this is, um, do you have a sense of 
Did Kate say it would take a couple of days? I mean, my stuff always took longer than that. Um, is it a couple of days? Uh, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't ask when it would actually go I'll out. have to go back and look and see if I have that. But if, maybe if we just count it from Monday to be safe. Yeah. Um, so two weeks would be to November 4th. Two and a half would be November 8th. The board, the board meeting is on the 19th. Right, we have a meeting on the 14th, right? We have a meeting on the 14th, yes. that's yeah. correct. And that one's at 5.30. Oh, yeah. we have one on the 7th, too. The 7th. 14th. 7th and the 14th, okay. Oh, we do have a, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. I would think if somebody hasn't filled it out within two weeks, they're probably never going to. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of true. Yeah, so why don't we plan on basically on Monday getting out electronically to everybody? Yeah, I have. I took that note. And then maybe we can do it again, like yeah. the following Monday, and then we close it the Monday after that. Okay, 10, 10, 21, 10, 28, and close on November 4th. Number four. Okay. Let's see if I can get Mary to help with that or find out who. You said Ray can put all this stuff up? Yes. Yeah. Might be a little annoyed and, with me. Okay. Shoot, I put a bunch of them. I, I wonder if we should post stuff like on, you know, at the library and at the market and wherever else people might be frequenting. Um, post the Just we had like, talked about putting a few postcards out is that what you're talking about yes I gave all the postcards to the post office though so okay. one. <laughs> <laughs> all right postcards at libraries general stores town clerk probably All right, well, we'll see. Um, do you think that they used all those cards for the mailing? Uh, no, probably not. I mean, I'm sure there'll be some extras. Um, I just, you know, like when they were asking for 400 money, it was supposed to be 489 or whatever. I gave them 500. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll reach out to Penny, I think that's her name, and see. If there are extras and how we can. Um, well, I mean, it probably makes sense just to make like a single page, mm. you know, like. Oh, I know what you. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, just a just yeah, a flyer. Just, yeah, because yeah, I mean, otherwise you've got the side that has the um, the QR code. QR code, but then the other side kind of has the like you know Wildcat logo. And oh, those, I've so got it. Just, I will definitely put Mary on that. She'll do that. Me. She's good at that. Okay. All right. Well, but if we also, if you hung the, the flyer and like uh, Carlita's, Carnita's, the, the, like the market and like same thing in Bethel, yeah. the hardware store, the, you know, like yeah. a couple of places, especially if you put the QR code on the flyer, you know, yeah. people could just bing bong it on yeah. there and wouldn't have to go looking for it. Right. No, that makes a lot of sense. I'll have Mary work on that, and then we'll make a list of where to post them. All right. Can I, before we go to the next yeah. subject, um, I was always reviewing the family survey. Mm -hmm. I came across something that um, <clears throat> was sort of, I actually was, I saw a comment that said, like, this question is worded weird, and therefore I don't totally understand. It, it, the, the results might be confusing. And then I looked back, and let me, let me pull it up here, and I realized I think we made a mistake. Um, did we already talk about this? I don't think so. 
school structures. Um, so being part of the merger, the merged larger school district of Royalton and Bethel, blah, 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 has provided teachers and students with more resources and opportunities. There's one, two, three, four, five, six options. Two of them are strongly disagree. So when I first looked at this, I, was, I read it very differently. And then when I looked back at it and realized, oh, both of these are strongly disagree, and you combine those, it's a very different output. Yeah. And that this one is, there's, the reason there's, why that there's a was... bunch of them in this category that have double strongly disagree. And then if I go down further, there's a few that have double strongly agree. I think that happened to something that happened afterwards. Cause... Right, because we put it out twice. Yeah. And, and so it's. I, oh, those so, two in, combined, so the like second. Two, so you just have to, when you, you look at the data, all. you have to mentally combine them, yeah. which I had, you know, I didn't notice at first. So, so, oh, yeah. so. When we put it out the second time, sorry, I know it's happening. This is just in that summary thing. If you look. So when we put it out, we had some that were capitalized and some that weren't. And that made it annoying to do my spreadsheet that like looks at the results and, and does the percentages and stuff because it was looking for a specific capitalization version. <laughs> that makes it a lot easier rather than that than to figure it out in the formula. Yeah. Um, so I fixed the capitalization so it was consistent throughout the surveys. And so that's why you're seeing two strongly agrees on results. But the question just had the single strongly agree. It did not have two strongly agrees. Or okay, good. <laughs> but so, so yeah, but, it, but when I look at the results, I need to be mentally combining the, the two, right. st the, the percentages, the yeah. numbers. If you, if you look at the spreadsheet thing that I've done that lets you, yeah. you know, summarize them, that'll have just the single things combined. Okay. You can access it way up the top. Yep, I've looked, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It just yeah, definitely no. <laughs> has a very, you know, those answers look very different, different. What not once yeah. I, like, started combining them. In. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's Sorry, what that I is. Didn't know that would no, that's no. that's fine as long as other people know as they're looking through to look for that and you know, um, because it, it definitely gave me it. Um, I think, you know, what the fan like gave me a different feeling as to like how the families responded to those questions, not as favorably. Yep. Sadly. About the elementary school. Um, just, just the merger. This is just merger in general. Being part of the merged larger school district has provided teachers and students with more resources and opportunities. It's, you know. Um, well, and that's one of those, that's one of those resources and opportunities. What, what those are, so that's family perception of something that they yeah. are not. Um, well, right, we're, we're inside looking out, so we know experience. what we've got or not gotten out of this, but if you've just been part of the community and let's say you you had children the year of the merger or just before so you've only you you know you don't start kinder preschool or whatever till you're 3 or you know what i mean so you've only haven't really been in here to you know to know to quantify have we gotten more resources or or not, or. Well, and that's a perfect example of when I get to those sections in the report that the, um, the faculty and staff data on that question is significant. If I have to add those things up, but it looks like there's a disconnect between what the parents right. think, you know, the outside perception versus what is happening on the inside. Right. Obviously, these are always just people's perceptions. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can understand weighing faculty and staff's perception of whether they have more resources yeah. heavier than whether yeah. families feel like the faculty and staff have more resources. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's usually um, gossip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can be yeah, gossip. Where but they but, but where I, that's getting why we that asked feeling us. is you know it's important to think about why they have that. 
perception. Well, and it would be interesting you know. to look at the comments with that question. Yeah. You know, what, yeah. where they're going. So, yeah. I'll spend some good time with that. But, but thank you yeah, for bringing that up. No, I, I, you know, a larger political context here, too. You know, like, there's, when you talk to or see people talking about things in the community, like, it's all about, like, oh, my tax, school taxes are out of control and stuff, but, yeah. like, our school taxes are the same, and they basically have been flat the whole time since the merger. But people don't feel that because they're, you know, seeing lots of articles about school taxes elsewhere right. and everything else. So, you know, right. I think all kind of factors in. Are you remembering that you were going to work on the finance part? <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. All right. Do we have anything more for tonight? Do, are you going to put anything in the report um, that, um, or, or how would you phrase it in the report? The, the, the. Going along with how our, our, our spending has has stayed flat, but also in in the results of maybe the how the budget has been affected, but also the things um, and you touched on this before of like the state mandated things, you know, like you know the the clinicians and and, and the food service and meals and and all that and and how that. Um, do we touch on on that? How that has a, an impact on on the budget? We should. Yeah, we should. I mean, a lot of that, you know, from firsthand experience as a superintendent, is that it just we, it just made you sort of spin in the same spot. Well, I guess I, I go back to how how and why you know like Jamie did did a lot of groundwork ex explaining some of this yeah. about our. You know, and how, it, but then you have people that come back and, and want revotes. But the, the the things that we can control, we've tried to control and control well. You know, but there's things that are out of our control that have been put upon us that it has a cause and effect on on our on our budget. Yeah, no, it would be interesting to look at the budget either pre-merger or the first year of the merger and what it is now and like what. Has changed and why. Yeah. And certainly, a lot of that's going to be, you know, staffing levels or benefits, you know, that sort of stuff. But oh, benefits! Holy like smokes! <laughs> that in and of itself, um, yeah. and it's going to go up double digits again. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> what what is it we heard the other night? Thirty five thousand dollars now for a family plan for Blue Cross. Yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah. A good perk. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. And yeah, I think that Andrew. Yeah, you, we sort of thinking along the same lines in terms of using. And Chris, I think that 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 whole sort of using this document as a way, another venue to um, to educate people how we, on how, how it we works. get to where we get to yeah. with our budget. Absolutely, we could use it as a as a tool, not just something yeah. to. To beat people over the head yeah. with, but to actually, you know, to to some of the groundwork that that Jamie was, you know, like when he eloquently put into words like why we have the things we you know have yeah. or, or the the you know. The, the legislature is really, I mean, it's always well intended, um, but uh, there's uh, there's a lot of of stuff that they've mandated over the last 15 years that have been unfunded, or they have, they pass laws in January, February, and then implement July 1 without regulations, which is also a mess. But, um, but it's always well intended. It's just that people don't think about what, what the underlying costs of, you know, Preschool. Who would say that we wouldn't want preschool? But the yeah. but the regs that that the, the uh, preschools now with children and family services. So it's the daycare regs that apply for preschools. That's not part of the ed department. And so just the cost to prepare a uh, classroom to house a preschool 
and all of the separate roles now that go with that that are not part of the school system but part of Children and Family Services yeah, you have to is have, a chunk of change. Yeah, yeah. I and have to, people I, are not. I have to have an O2 sensor, a detector. I have to have it inspected yeah. for lead paint. You know, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. it's and and it, you know, like I say, it's all well intended. It's not anybody's fault, but it's that those kinds of things without the deep dive and what, what the real costs of making And they don't all play are. nice together. Like if you oh, no. work for the school mm -hmm. and you work for after school and you work for preschool, you have to have your fingerprints done three times. Three times. You do not, you, they, it's, <laughs> you the cannot just different. come to the school and go to those two places. No. Wow. No, the list of people that they check your prints against are different. Yeah. So anyway, that's yeah. that. So we're good with the next two um, meetings. We have uh, the postcards are out. We're going to put um, community survey out on social media on Monday and again the following Monday and closing at November 4. I'm going to ask Mary to talk about, to do a single page sort of poster kind of thing that would have the QR code um, on it that we can post around the two towns. Um, does that sound right? Yeah. Um, yeah, just to double check, we are not meeting on the 31st. Correct. We are meeting the 7th of November at 5.30. The 7th and? And the 14th and the are at 5.30. Okay. And they're at 5.30, back yes. to 5.30. Here? <laughs> yes. Yes. I got all ready for 5.30 today, and it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I did the same order. thing. Okay. Um, Andrew, do you have anything else? Nope. All righty, then. Um, should I call it a night? I'm sure Nancy, Nancy's going to gonna move to adjourn. <laughs> so moved. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thanks, Andrew. All right, and thanks again for doing that postcard stuff today. I would have been, ugh, sure. I could not do it. Okay, very good. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay.